Megan. A long time ago, we all learned how to brush our teeth. We learned how to hold a toothbrush. We learned that floss goes in between our teeth. And we learned how to spit out the toothpaste instead of swallow it. As a dental assistant, it's my goal and job. My goal and job is preventative dentistry. That simply means that I want to teach and instill um, proper oral hygiene habits so all of my patients don't come back with six cavities because of their not, because they're not maintaining um, their oral health. For a, pre for a preventative program to be effective, oral hygiene education must be reinforced and repeated periodically. So today, we are going to relearn the steps in taking care of our oral health. Those three steps are brushing and flossing with a purpose, eating that benefits your oral health, and regular dental visits. So to begin, there is an actual technique to brushing your teeth. Linda Boyd from Dental Instruments explains this proper technique. It's called the modified bass technique. And you simply just take the toothbrush at a 45 degree angle and brush towards your gum line, all the way across, in front, behind, and then continue brushing in circular motions the rest of your teeth. It is important that you use a soft, bristle tooth toothbrush because, of, because you're focusing so much on your gums and it's hard on your teeth if you use hard bristles and you want to keep your gums healthy because if your gums are healthy, your teeth are usually healthy. Continuing with flossing, <coughs> when you floss, you want to use, it's called the C-shaped technique. You go through each tooth and you hug each side of the tooth. So you're kind of making a C around each side. And of course, you go through each tooth. Along with brushing and flossing correctly, you also want to um, you also want to eat healthy. When you eat healthy, okay, before you put food in your stomach, it has to go through your mouth. You have to chew it up. So when you eat, consume foods with a lot of acids and sugars, that erodes your teeth and you're more likely prone to cavities. So you can eat these foods in moderation, of course, but just remember that it can be a little hard on your teeth. Also, um, I learned from Bird Robinson in the book Modern Dental Assisting that um, chewing gum with xylitol is good for your teeth. Xylitol is a sugar substitute. It's sweet, it's a sweetener, <coughs> and it actually prevents cavities. The, exact mechanism of the prevention isn't is still under investigation but it's known um, to <coughs> that the bacteria can't use xylitol to produce acid which like I said erodes your teeth so we're in charge of the brushing and flossing the regular maintenance but sometimes it takes a professional's help so that's where regular dental visits comes in. <coughs> so you should see the dentist every six months and it's important to do so because for instance you come in with a small cavity you can get it fixed right then and there whereas you come in two years later with that same cavity and it's grown so big that you need to get that tooth pulled or have a root canal. So mm. which one would you rather have? I read, um, so overall your oral health is really important. You can't have your general health if you don't have your oral health. I read from Charles Finkbeiner in Practice Management, the mouth is the gateway to the rest of the body, a mirror of your overall well-being. And I pretty much think that really says it all, that you can't have your general health if you don't have your oral health. In conclusion, even though this activity of maintaining oral health seems a little elementary, it's actually 
we need to realize how vital our teeth are to our lives. Like I said, you can't have your general health if you don't have your oral health. Our teeth help us eat, speak, and smile, all things we need to, to do to get through our days and our lives. Think of it this way, if, if um, you have one set of permanent teeth for your whole life, so you should tr probably try and treat those teeth as best as you can. So if you're 100 years old, your teeth are going to be 100 years old, supposing that you still have them. So I would like to have healthy, functional teeth at that age. <coughs> so I hope you take these tips of brushing and flossing with a purpose, eating that benefits your teeth, and visiting the, doc or the dentist regularly. And if you take all these tips and utilize them on a regular basis, you too can have exceptional teeth, like my friend here. <laughs>